Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Brigade. I'm your host Brian and today we're looking at Kemet Blood and Sand which is available right now on Kickstarter. If you are new to the channel, we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs of your favorite games. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and joining the community. Uh, so, welcome to the channel guys. We're going to be taking a look at Kemet. This is a game on Kickstarter right now. Let's go ahead and swing on over to the uh, page here and this is going to be brought to you by method go games this is actually their first kickstarter so expect some uh hiccups and and learning processes but this company is not a new company in fact Kemet came out in 2012 originally uh, and they've launched several uh, expansion packs uh, but this is obviously their first foray into uh, Kickstarters, and one of the things I always like to tell people that I do is we'll go down here and we'll always click on the creator. We want to learn a little bit about this creator, and I always like to check to see what they've created. Obviously, this is their first created. If you are new to Kickstarter, and I, I eventually plan on doing a, a, a video here in regards to what's the best process to look at a game and how do you know if you're going to feel confident backing, a lot of times the games that are most popular are going to be backed by big corporations. They're, they're a big publishing company, and they're usually fairly safe. But if you have a smaller company that you don't know about, a lot about, there's a lot more research that goes involved into kind of knowing if you're going to get yourself a, a good game here. But that's for another video. So today, let's go ahead and flash back here. Let's talk about Kemet. So this game is another Egyptian-based game. We just had another one come out recently called Ankh. And uh, they both are kind of a, a combat game, dudes on a map. Kemet, I've heard many good things about. I have actually not backed this game, or I've not played Kemet. Uh, it's actually been a game that's come to our uh, play group quite a bit, um, but it's never been actually the like on the calendar on the schedule. It just doesn't make it to the times where we actually have time to play it because we usually have other games on the schedule that we're playing. This one hasn't hasn't unfortunately made it yet and then of course we're in a situation now where uh we can't really get together and play unfortunately because uh, this was coming up on our, our gameplay schedule so i am actually kind of excited here to check out a board game that i haven't played but i've heard a lot of good stuff about so what we're going to be looking for then is this kickstarter worth backing or is it worth waiting on of course the campaign the campaign gift here is um and they're going to be increasing the mini size plus 20%. That's actually kind of relevant. I am not positive if this will translate to the retail version of the game. And I believe there's some stuff in this campaign that they're not going to be translating to the actual game. So that's where we're going to have to decide, is it worth backing the Kickstarter version or is it better just waiting for retail? So what is Kemet? Kemet is, let's come back to me real quick while we do a quick explanation Rundown. Now, I haven't played the game, but again, I've done my research on this game in terms of how it plays. And basically, each person will be controlling a city with your pyramids. You're going to have your, your soldiers, and you're going to be trying to get victory points to win. And victory points come in two forms. You have temporary victory points, and you have permanent victory points. And based on how you play, you can hold temples to get temporary victory points. But if someone takes you out of that temple, then they take the victory point away from you. And then you have combat victory points that are permanent. Uh, and basically it's a dudes on a map game, kind of akin to like Risk, uh, where you're moving units around. But this game, unlike a lot of other games that are dudes on a map, where you normally have your territory and you can only move out from your territory, this implements a teleportation feature where you can teleport from your pyramids to an obelisk somewhere else on the map to create kind of uh, unique combat situations. Uh, if anyone is also knows the game Scythe, this Scythe might have probably borrowed it from Kemet since Kemet came out first. But it has a situation where you go into combat, you have your hidden information where you're picking cards, your combat card, and then your prayer cards to you know increase the likelihood of your victory. What I like about this game, which is kind of differently than any other combat dudes on a map game though, is the person who wins the combat might be the one that loses all the units. Um, it's, it's kind of weird, but the way the combat cards work, they'll have a damage indicator of how much damage those cards will do. And so, as the attacker, you might not have a card that deals any actual damage, even though you win the combat. So, there's different plays here in terms of uh, 
of how the combat works. It's a little different. I have not played a game that kind of implements a system like that. And then additionally, it has an action system where you're going to be taking actions uh, to do things like move your troops, uh, purchase tiles, uh, get resources, which is the, uh, the prayer resource. So you're going to be implementing an action system with your own player board, as well as the strategy and the combat of the dudes on the map, uh, which I like. I like both those things. Um, I'm actually very excited about this game, uh, and I wasn't planning on backing this game at first, so I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure uh, where I'm going to end up, so let's, let's keep going. So let's cut back to the uh, campaign here. So this campaign will kind of talk a little bit about uh, the combat systems, the, the fresh, unique minis that they're doing, as well as some of the upgrade tiles. If you are someone who owns the original game, they actually have a upgrade kit to bring your version of Kemet up to the, the newer version. I'm not sure if it includes the, the map. Uh, that's actually a good question. Um, so let's, let's see here. So they have this veteran pledge here. This is the one I'm referring to. If you, uh, if you have the game, this is an upgrade pack for Kemet uh, version one owners. You'll be able to select your language in the pledge manager. The upgrade will get you 64 new tiles, the core box with the one point long, the, the V1 look, You'll get the new deck, the rule book, the player aids. It doesn't look like you're you're going to be getting a new map. So one of the things I've liked about this is when I looked at this map and compared it to the old map, this map is way better looking. So I'm really impressed with that. Uh, so the other thing to note is if you do this veteran pledge to upgrade your V1, you're not going to get any stretch goals. So that's something to consider as well. This is about $30 to select this. Uh, and so right now, the pledge for the, the normal game is about $77 for the God Pledge. And this gets you the game plus all the unlocked stretch goals. And what we're going to be really looking at, because this game, if you were to buy Kemet right now, it says it's priced about $60 to $70 MSRP. But you can buy it right now on Amazon for $44. So obviously this game has historically been cheaper at retail than the MSRP. So you can probably find this game cheaper. So when this launches in retail, it might take a few months, maybe about six months, but you're gonna be able to find this game for a discounted price, maybe about 20% off the MSRP price. So you have to remember when you're buying these games at $77, you're also gonna have to include the shipping costs. You're gonna be closer into about $90 for this game. Uh, when you could potentially buy this game for $50. So these are things that we have to consider when we're looking at backing a Kickstarter and if this is something we want to go forward on. And what's going to push that to the point of uh, backing are the stretch goals and or the exclusive items. Because sometimes some of the stretch goals will be included in that core game once it hits retail. So let's gonna take, a, take a look at that real quick. So this is the uh, Veteran Pledge, by the way. This is what I was looking for instead of having to read it over here. So if you're curious, if you have the uh, version 1.0 game, you can upgrade it to V1.9. They actually are considering Blood and Sand version 2. So obviously this is not a full complete version uh, conversion to the 2.0. Okay, so we're going to squeeze down here. We don't need to talk anything about these, uh, these things. So also what I really like are some of the upgrades to the components. The original um, game included pyramids but they were the little dice here they were actually kind of clever in how they repurposed uh the dice here but now they're actually going to have these 3d models that actually stack and get better and stronger i really really like that look uh, we have some some of the miniatures these were included in the original game now supposedly uh, if you back this game these will be 20 percent larger i do not know as of right now if that 20 percent will be uh, retail or just Kickstarter exclusive. I don't know because if you scroll to the top real quick, it just says mini size plus 20%. Um, so I'll have to look into that because I am kind of curious because it does make a big impact. The larger miniatures being bigger is nicer to have that. So we're going to scroll down just to the stretch goals because that's the most important part of this campaign when you're talking about... Um, What's the value? So down here with the stretch goals, we have a new tile and miniature, the sacred bull. This looks like it's going to be in the included game. We have five game aids. Uh, this is included in the core box. Oh, wait, hold on. I was wrong. The sacred bull, tile and miniature. This does not say included in core box. So I believe 
This one is is a Kickstarter a Kickstarter exclusive. Well, this one will come in the core box, and they seem to kind of have this system. So, night ceremony. This is a new tile that you can purchase. Um, looks like it's going to be a Kickstarter exclusive. The scoring track, which is, seems like that should be in the base game, anyways. I don't see how this should be a stretch goal in any regard, but I'll be included. So you can kind of see, um, kind of see here what is more valuable to you in terms of. Are these extra tiles to increase your playability or add some more options to the game worth it comparatively to just getting what comes in the core box at retail? Obviously, we haven't uh, announced totally all the stretch goals here, so we're still interested. These obelisks, if these are actual obelisks that go on the map and they're not included in the core box, this would be making me very much wanting the, the, the Kickstarter variant over the retail variant. Uh, and I also don't know what soundscape means. I don't quite know what this is, um, but this is also an exclusive item. So there's some stuff that they haven't really explained to us very well in terms of what to expect. Um, and I, I just don't know if, you know, what what's what some of the stuff, if they're just not as clear. And that's part of them being a first time Kickstarter. When you, when you go to games like Simon Games, where they've done multiple Kickstarters, even though they don't really have to, they've done multiple ones, their campaigns are very clear, you know exactly what to expect, and it's easy for us as a, as a content creator to basically tell you what makes sense in terms of purchasing this or not purchasing this or waiting till retail. Um, this one's a little bit harder for me to wrap my head around of what is um, worth it. Basically, I'll tell you, um, we're done looking at the campaign, we'll just have a little chit chat and then we'll talk about my final thing. I'll tell you from what I've seen in terms of gameplay to this game considered to Ankh, another Egyptian based game that came out last month on Kickstarter, I think Kemet actually has a better gameplay system. I think it might be a better game than Ankh, um, which is kind of sucky for me because I went in all, all in on Ankh. And now you've got Kemet and you're like, ooh man, Kemet, that's, it's another looking good game, but how many Egyptian games do you want to have into your collection? Now obviously Ankh and, and Kemet are very different in terms of their styles of gameplay. One's an area control game, one is more of a dudes on a map, um, you know, a domination-like game. Uh, so they kind of fill two different niches, but they're obviously the same sense where each one is a god and you're trying to, to win. Um, I think right now there's not enough here for me to, to recommend, to give a Game Brigade recommended stamp on buying this as a Kickstarter. I think we really, this is gonna come down to like the final days of the Kickstarter when these stretch goals have flushed themselves out and we could really know what that additional 30 or $40 I'm gonna be buying. Cause that's what you have to kind of consider. You're spending a lot more money after on this than retail for these additional items. Now you can say you're back in this game because you're, you're supporting the company. You're supporting the Kickstarter uh, experiences. You want to bring this game to life. But a company like this, they should already have a fairly decent infrastructure. And I wouldn't expect that they need the influx of cash to bring this game to, to retail life. I feel like that's a stretch, if you would say. Um, but maybe they do. I'm, I'm obviously not an accountant in their system, so I don't know uh, what their systems or their their money situation looks like, and maybe they do need some influx of cash. So if you're a person who definitely wants to make sure this game comes to life, back it. Help the company out. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I've backed plenty of games just because I like the cause. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. You don't always have to look at everything in terms of what's the best financial decision, because a lot of times it's not backing anything. It's just waiting for retail, unfortunately. So, but when we're back in Kickstarter, sometimes we have to look at the things a little bit more on an emotional level. So this was Kemet. I definitely am excited for this game. I'm right now currently on the cusp of deciding. There's a lot of games right now in the month of May and June that have just hit Kickstarter. So it's going to be hard to be able to, be, to decide which ones deserve your income now and which ones can you take on later, potentially done later on the road. Um, this one, I'm going to hold back on giving them my recommended stamp until I, until I know more. So if this is a video that you guys enjoyed, I'd love to know what you guys are going to be doing. Are you backing Kemet? Is this a game that you think I'm making a wrong decision on? Should I back it right now and support this company? Leave me a comment down below. 
And we have a new thing right now. We've been asking people to hit the like button, to smash the like button. Uh, right now, what we need you to do is destroy that like button. I need you to just take your mouse and destroy the heck out of it. Obliterate it. We need to make sure YouTube knows that you like this content. You want to help us in the algorithm. Keep the channel growing because we are going like crazy, guys. We're getting so many new subscribers. I love the support we're getting. So help us out. Destroy the like button. We'll see you next week. Oh,